Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're stopping in. I've got a nice little thrift haul for you today on this very chilly day in January here in Florida. I hope you enjoy. <music> setup of uh, canisters. They were made by J Imports for Corning or Corel. Let's see right here. That's the logo. And they did a lot of work, um, like I said, for Corning and Corel. This pattern happens to be one of my favorites. It is Fruit Basket, produced between 1988 and 2002. Paid $5 for all these canisters. I have a funny feeling right here because I couldn't find it that this does not go on here. Um, it should have a lid like this, but it fits. So um, I'm not all that worried about it. I'll maybe use it for a sugar jar. That's the flour, the sugar, uh, tea canister or coffee canister. That's a full set right here. So I was really happy to find them. And like I said, J Import made a lot of um, compatibles for Corning and Corel. And this set will sell anywhere from 13 for a set of four to I've seen them go for $15 for just one, so I'm not really sure yet. Great find right here. These are Bartlett Collins mid-century hand-painted vases in three different sizes. I paid $1.50 for all three. They were 55% off, and they're gorgeous. Um, they're not marked, but once you get to know Bartlett Collins, you can easily identify them. And what I like best about Bartlett Collins is that thrift stores, Goodwill, most of these stores have not yet caught on to the value and the collectability of Bartlett Collins. And there are a lot of Bartlett Collins collectors out there. And I think I'll sell these three together as a set for between $15 and $20. I was at this great vintage antique store right here in Melbourne, and they were having a big sale for Christmas and I spotted these salt and pepper shakers. These two are Bartlett Collins and they're in great shape. Usually I wouldn't purchase anything there, um, but they were, I think I paid $6.50 for them, which is a really good price for these considering the shape that they're in. And I can probably sell them and I think I will sell them for about $35 free shipping. They made cookie jars, which are highly collectible, and uh, sugars and creamers. And this happens to be a good favorite color, the yellow with the, with the hand-painted flowers and the fruit. And I'd like to just point out a fact to you that I did find out. You'll see these listed a lot as Gay Fad. They are not Gay Fad painted. Gay Fad did a lot of hand painting for Anchor Hawking and other companies, but Bartlett Collins always had their own in-house artists. I was kind of intrigued. I saw this a Cafe de Kitty tray, breakfast tray. It's plastic or melamine in Goodwill. I paid 99 cents for it. I know lots of people out there love Hello Kitty, so I thought probably worth a bit more than 99 cents. I came home and did some research on it, and I couldn't find a tray like this anywhere on the internet for sale. I do know that Cafe de Kitty, um, there's a bunch of them in Southern California. I think they're still active. The date right here says 76 and 02. So obviously this one dates to at least 02. But again, I couldn't find a tray anywhere for sale. I'm thinking maybe somebody enjoyed their breakfast and their coffee on this tray and maybe just kind of left with it. But I am gonna list it and um, we'll see what it brings in. Have no clue and I will let you know. Pyrex Opalware um, primary color bowl. It's part of a set, mixing bowl, set of four. They started producing these in 1940 all the way to the 70s and the logo here um, tells me that this is probably more like the 60s or 70s. I paid two dollars for it. I know it's in really bad shape but I just can't pass them up when I see them. I do have the green one. Nope, this is green one, excuse me. I have the yellow one, I have the blue one. I'm on the lookout for the red. And if I find a green one in better shape for a good price, I'll just switch it out. 
You can see it's in great shape on the inside. I'd rather have a bunch of scratches on the inside and a nice green finish on the outside. I paid 50 cents, half price, for this beautiful china ashtray, believe it or not. It's hand-painted, and it's, I think, artist-signed. I couldn't find any logo information on LEM, so I'm thinking maybe that's the artist. And it's so beautiful. It's kind of strange for me to think that they made ashtrays that were this pretty and actually survived all this. So I'm thinking nobody used it as an ashtray and it would make a great bed tray or dresser tray or even um, a bathroom tray. Look what I found. If you um, remember a video or two back, if you were watching, I had found a great set of this Shenango restaurant wear. The pattern is called SHO144, and it has a beautiful aqua green um, rim to it. It's actually called Green Spray. They're produced between the 50s and the 60s. And as I said before, if you see something you like at a thrift store, take a day or two off and go back and keep looking because a lot of times, they just haven't gotten around to putting everything out at the same time. That's what happened to me here. I was very lucky. I paid $8.50 for 11 pieces here. They actually had some dinner plates, uh, which I passed on because they were in pretty bad shape. I think I'm going to ask at least $30, $35 for this set. I have a little bit more research to do on that. I did want to mention once again that this logo, the Native American, is a representative of the Seneca tribe, which did settle in the Shenango Valley. The symbol right here, the logo in the middle, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a Moser piece and um, it's from Ohio. And that logo actually there is the state of Ohio or the outline of the state of Ohio with an M inside of it. That's how you can tell it's a Moser piece. And this piece was not thrifted, but gifted, gifted to me by cameraman for my birthday. I simply fell in love with it. It's very heavy. It's a tobacco jar. It is missing its lid, but I'll probably use it for a canister. It's just so beautiful, I didn't really care. And what I found interesting was, I thought it was pretty old, but I found out they actually started producing this opalescent green pattern. It's actually called Cherry Thumbprint Green Opalescent in 2003, and I think they might still be making it. Although they did start the Cherry Thumbprint pattern um, quite a long time ago. They sell for about $50, I would say, without the lid. Hope you enjoyed my latest haul. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, leave me a comment. Have a great day, and we'll see you real soon. Very cold January day here in February. Hope you enjoy. Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're stopping in. As I said in my last video, I'm going to try and pump out some videos a lot quicker than I have been lately. And I have one for you today on this very cold January day here in February. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.